Welcome to the 2018 U.S. Open, a 50th anniversary celebration. Please begin to take your seats. T-minus one minute. Start automatic ground launch sequencer. Houston, we have a tennis match. Go on, go. just outside the USTA Billie Jean King National Tennis Center in Arthur Ashe Stadium, where just today we have begun fan week at the 50th U.S. Open. Tonight is about missions. It's about the mission of the USTA to promote and develop the growth of tennis. We like to say we're about growing tennis and making it look like America. But tonight we're about another kind of mission, a space mission, the first tennis mission to space. And what could be a better place than having the Unisphere as our launching pad and backdrop? We have, excuse me, we have rocketed up to space two small net generation tennis rackets and balls with Commander Drew Fustel whose love of space and love of tennis is going to take tennis to unprecedented heights, like ha, 254 miles above the Earth in the International Space Station. So, earlier today, Juan Martin Del Potro gave Commander Fusel a lesson, so he is ready to go, and without further ado, we know we can't do anything in space without a countdown, so here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.
The year is 2018. You're at the U.S. Open. The grandest stage on Earth. Where the tennis action is out of this world. A legacy written in the stars. Built for champions. Drew loves tennis. Can you tell us how you plan to spend your leisure time on the space station? You know, we'll see if there's any surprises on orbit, but uh, we're looking forward to some opportunities. You guys don't know yet, but maybe we'll get to play some tennis in space. (laughs) (laughs) Tennis in space. An unknown frontier. This is the voyage of NASA astronaut Drew Foisel of Expedition 56. He's on an eight-month mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations. Boldly play tennis where no one has played before. The quest for greatness begins now. To eclipse the rest. Where time stands still. And everything revolves around him. An approach shot. Straight to the moon. He's the weird test, All systems go. Hi, welcome to the International Space Station. I'm NASA astronaut Drew Boisel, commander of Expedition 56. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about an important aspect of our life up here, and that's leisure activities, and particularly sports and space. And today we're going to talk about tennis. You can see I've set up a tennis net here, and I've got a tennis racket and a nice squishy tennis ball, uh, nice and soft so that we don't damage any equipment uh, on the ISS while we play this game. And I want to talk about some of the challenges uh, when we compare tennis in space to tennis on Earth. And the main point, obviously, is that we have a very different uh, effect of gravity up here in space than we do on Earth. How does that play in tennis? Well, it means that when we hit the ball, the ball doesn't fall over the net uh, into the opponent's playing area. In fact, the ball just goes straight. If I hit the ball, it doesn't start to fall. It really just heads in the direction that I hit it. We also have the challenge on the space station that we don't have a real tennis court. We have uh, this area that we call Node 1. And this is a nice area, it's a kind of large volume, I've cleared off some equipment here so that we have a clean and safe place to play, but uh, we don't have a real well-defined tennis court. We have surfaces that we can hit the ball off of, but as I said before, the ball never falls, so in space the ball goes straight. Serves are challenged at least setting up for the service, and when I hit the ball, I can't hit it down into the service court because it never falls, so the other court really has to be raised. So we've had to modify the rules a little bit to play up here. Uh, But it is still fun, the pace is much slower, uh, and it's really hard to plant your feet up here. And we all know that in tennis it's important to plant your feet and have a good position so that you can transfer all that energy in the ball and set it back over the net. In space that's hard to do. In fact, once we let go with our feet or our hands, we're floating freely. We have no way to control our position or our our, our body orientation. And also when we hit the ball... We know that every force uh, on one object results in an equal and opposite force in the, in the opposite direction. So when I hit the ball, there's actually a small effect of me hitting the ball that stops my 
my hand, stops my own rotation, and transfers that to the ball so that the ball starts moving. It's hard to tell with a tennis ball because it's so light, uh, but objects of greater mass, if I were to have them stationarily floating and I bumped into them, it would actually send me in the other direction. So thanks for joining us on the space station. Hope you enjoy the tennis and uh, get ready for the matches you're about to Hi guys, Zizu here. I'm aiming this ball at the speed of light so it can reach my opponent, astronaut Andrew Forster. So here goes. Are you ready, sir? Okay. Go It's a bird. It's a plane. It's tennis in space. Cool. I'm here to wish Drew Forster good luck on his mission to space. I heard he's going to be playing tennis in the International Space Station. Tennis in space? Awesome! Good luck up there, Drew. I can't wait to see your match. What's small step for life and what a drive me for tennis. Go ahead, Master Nadu. Can't wait to see him play tennis in space. Houseman is just touching space. How do I prepare? I have no clue how, how do I prepare. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do some research on how our astronauts prepare to go for them. I think the one planet that would represent me would have to be the biggest planet, Jupiter. If I'm the big guy, so i got to go to the biggest planet. Yeah, I so always think one of the coolest out of the most of the that they can see together. Good luck, Drew. I hope you know, I can't wait to see you play in a little bit different preparation to us. I think it's going to be great. Good luck, Drew, on your mission to the International Space Station. Good luck, Drew. See you in space. Can't wait for the best. This is T minus that generation. Oh, great shot, sir. Your point. Hi, welcome to the International Space Station. I'm NASA astronaut Drew Poitzel, along with my crewmates Ricky and Serena and Alex behind the camera today. And we're going to show you some examples of playing doubles in space. Hope you enjoy it. Open with Commander Drew Foisel and Assistant Commander Ricky Arnold. It's assistant to the commander. Uh, yeah, Same thing, really. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations on your Wednesday, gentlemen. How do you feel? Uh, I feel good. I feel a little bit winded. Uh, it's a, it was a difficult match and playing in the microgravity stuff. Do you feel like all your long hours of preparation paid off? Uh, I do. Uh, we practiced for weeks and weeks for this match, and uh, we tried very hard to keep our fitness level up, and I think that was important today for the win. And what would you, if you had a message for all the kids out there today watching, what would you tell them? I would tell them to stay fit and uh, stay focused on their dreams and their goals and uh, shoot for the stars. Open. 
you either win or you lose. There is no try in the galaxy of the U.S. Open. There is a major gravity to every match. In the U.S. Open universe, everything revolves around the stars of the game. U.S. Open atmosphere, there is always time to break through to new heights. Dwarf the rest like Del Potro. Searching me like sleep. Take the scene. Defy the stars and slugs. Seek the unknown by Maria. Like the way by Nadal. Number 16. How sweet it is. Stay on the radar, like Roger. Reach new heights, like Nova. Seeing is believing. One small ace for man. One giant leap for tennis. Through phone home. Open in space, powered by Net Generation.